they gave me up 2011. I nearly died. Um, they told me I had six to eight months to live. Wanju, Wanju, Bibbulmun Buja, Kaya, Young, Jerpin, I'm happy to be here standing in unity for justice. Over the years I've suffered many illnesses but diabetes means being that main complication. So 95, you know, I became, I became diagnosed. 2009, over those years I had a lot of complications in between. Um, with my heart, with diabetes, whilst working, um, you know, suffering with little infections on and off. I couldn't afford my medication back then for diabetes. It wasn't recognised how we struggled as diabetics when we had no support. Um, I had a mortgage at a time, you know, and it was really hard. I didn't, couldn't afford my insulin back then. So over the years, my diabetes back then got neglected um, whilst I was working for government. So throughout 2009 and over the years, I suffered diabetic neuropathy, diabetic gastroparesis, diabetic retinopathy with my eyes. So I'm clinically blind in my left eye, minimal vision in my right. Uh, diabetic vascular disease, peripheral damage I have. I have diabetic um, atrophy, uh, hypoglycemia. You know, I've had that hypertension. Throughout the years, my heart's that bad. I suffer bad heart disease nowadays. 2012, I had an amputation on my right big toe. 2012, you know, neurotic pain got worse and my nerve damage got worse throughout my body. 2011 is when my um, kidneys failed. You know, perinatal dialysis. I started um, hemodialysis. Um, that's when my kidneys failed. I fell ill, I ended up in ICU, Frio Hospital Emergency. They gave me up 2011. I nearly died. Um, they told me I had six to eight months to live, but here I am today still talking to you, Mob. In this country here, Perth, is our Bibbleman people. We're now known today as Noongar people. Assimilation, colonisation changes us indigenous people around the world. We had concentration camps set up in this country. In a way today, the concentration camps are the prisons that my people are imprisoned. You know, the work I do, I still do it today because there's so many gaps in our government systems. And um, yeah, you know, it keeps me going because, yeah, you know, it's just sad that government don't see what's happening in the grassroots. Today is a morning day. Today many of my old people before me stood up and fought for this day not to be celebrated. So you know we need my people, our younger generations, to come and stand and continue this fight. Because my voice won't be allowed much longer, it won't be around. My fight will end soon but I need my people to continue this fight. Because here, the right in here. Keeps me going and fighting for country. Yeah, fighting for my people and fighting for you, this budja. That's what keeps my spirit going. So that's why I know we always got we got a purpose in life. Because of how sick I am, how disabled I am, never mind I'm dying. I'll keep fighting for this land and fighting for my people so they don't have to go through what I went through. Yeah.